Hate, 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 hate. <laughs> Welcome back to New Soccer Wars. We are finally at the final chapter of the game, which means we got our last DLC costume. Sandra doesn't have any more, so we're just gonna put him in uh, Ogami's outfit, but I'll put the mask on because he's just an imposter. Okay. Sakura is getting in her loungewear, and Hatsuho is getting her loungewear. Uh, zombie, you know, everybody's getting loungewear. This is the loungewear episode. Okay. Yeah. Music, we don't really have any more left, so we'll just go back to the standard because now it feels brand new again, doesn't it? Yes. All right, let's get started. So, uh, you actually alerted me that this was going to be a long episode, but I didn't think it would equate to the runtime of Emperor's New Groove. It's like one of the shortest Disney movies ever. Wow, really? That's, that's, that's tragic. I think it's like barely over an hour. Well, if you missed it last time, Shadow Tokyo is now here and everybody died. I mean, I don't know why I bother putting on caution because everybody's fucking dead now. <laughs> but now we're, we were put into this vortex. Oh my god, what's happening? Ah! Oh, we've arrived in our memories. But wait, I think this was a plot point in Kingdom Hearts. Hmm. 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 <laughs> okay. I like that. Yeah, the loungewear is basically the uh the the special Christmas date bromines that we got. Oh that, that's, that's 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 what this all is. Okay. I, I just like that now when we say everybody, they're just gonna be like chillin'. Like, Look! Tokyo is burning! Oh no! And all of our friends are dead! Yep, it's burning, all right. <laughs> Trust us, it's burning. <laughs> Are we sure this isn't a stage play a la Mario 3? Come on, you're yanking me, right? It's, it's a battlefield, there's so much carnage. Oh my God, the bodies, everything's burning, everything's dying. We, we, we assure you, it's certainly happening. Do you hear it? Listen closely. But we are in Tokyo from the past. What does that have to do with anything? That that vortex that they threw us in sent us ten years into the past. Oh, I was right. They killed all our friends and they threw us back ten years of the past for some reason. I don't know why they didn't kill us. Ooh, ooh, are we gonna do a time paradox? Or, you know, a little bit of time fixin'? Like, if we save Sakura Shinguji from the evil Dark Realm, maybe she won't be evil and all of our friends will be alive! Well, here's a proof that it's ten years in the past. Because if we remember from Chapter 5, that Sakura tree had a gigantic claw mark in it. And you remember the very beginning of the game, the opening shot, it was young Sakura getting saved by Sakura Shinguji, so I certainly think something important is going to happen here. I hope it does! My mom might not be a sword! So I'm glad that you thought of Sakura Shinguji and all of our friends, but this game seems to think that Sakura's fucking sword mom is the most important thing. This is her sword mom? Yes, this is sword mom. She doesn't look like no sword. This is because this is before she became the Imperial Key. <laughs> no, I want Sakura's dad to have literally married a sword. He looks like he would do something like that. I like the design of the on the kimono. It's pretty nice. So they took the time to animate and voice this character who was only here for this scene. Mm hmm You're telling me you couldn't make a third member of the other teams to make it an actual even three? I mean, so many decisions, I don't understand why they made them. You know, I want to see the expose about this game when it comes out in three or so years. Somebody has done all the research, find out why this game was a bit of a and see that I bet you anything it was just meddling from too many hands in the cookie jar. I don't know, I don't know if it's meddling, I don't know if it's the fact that, because 
you got half people that have worked on a soccer rules before, and half of the people who haven't worked on like anything before. Like, <sighs> I wonder if the aspect of fresh new ideas was floating over the dev team. I don't think they were as fresh as they said they were. Lilted lettuce. That's the issue. Bruised, bruised tomatoes. Yeah, the issue is these Mold aren't fresh the ideas. The bread. Nah, Th these no. ideas have been done before. They didn't flesh out any of their new ideas. They, they watered down the things that made it Soccer Wars and didn't add enough to make it different, so it just feels just so middle of the road. And then they shit the bed when it comes to the story. So we tell her that she's gonna be a sword. We're gonna use the sword to <laughs> save the deep to save her from the demons. And Sakura still doesn't fucking get it, even though her mom's like, "Yes, I will fulfill my duty and become a, become a sword." And she's like, "No, I can't have that." Ugh. I don't want you to be a sword. You'd be very sharp to hug. Let's f let's forget this all and live our lives together. That's not how this works, honey. I'm going to abandon my friends and my duty and my dream and live with my mom forever, which was apparently a big character moment for me. I, d I mean, in this last chapter, hell yeah, it was a big plot point for the rest of the game. <laughs> Who gave a shit? Because they, they put so much focus on Sakura and her story, they try to make her wear so many hats. She's a childhood friend. She's the up-and-coming rising star. She's got mom problems. She's got dad problems. She got problems with being a soldier. It's, it's, and everyone else just gets, you know, a little fez on top. That's it. See, most of the time, having that many hats to be worn just turns you into a stripper that gets a lot of money. <laughs> and, the, and this is supposed to be passing the torch. We're supposed to forget about Sakura Shinguji and focus solely on Sakura Amamiya as the new generation of Sakura Wars. And if that's the case, then I will never support them again. And it, from what the way it looks like, it seems like not a lot of, not a lot of other people are either, you know. <laughs> Maybe this is Tekken asking you to pass the torch so we can turn Mom into a sword. You know, we gotta heat up the, the smithy any way we can. Pass the torch there! Can I just there. move to- like, can I just try a new combat review? Like, can I try the Mongolia <laughs> combat review or something? This combat review sucks! I wanna try out a new one! Well, th that's the weird thing! It shouldn't suck anymore! We've taken all the other combat reviews! How about a South African combat review? That'd be neat. The Johannesburg combat review. An Aztec combat review? Like, like, an, like an African combat review, like Nairobi combat review, Cairo combat review. Rio de Janeiro combat review. Put in a whole bunch of characters, make it a goddamn world stage of combat reviews. <gasps> That's gonna be the sequel, New Soccer Wars 2, world stage! Oh my god, I love it. If that actually came out as an announcement, like three years from now, would you get it? I don't know, I feel like if they announce another Soccer Wars, I'll probably end up getting it. Yes! But, hey, what about the mobile game? Do you, <laughs> you want to play the mobile game that has died? Uh, it's, it's dying. It'll probably be dead by next month. Hmm. So yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll go save our world. Uh, did you guys have a big moment? Oh, sorry, I, 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 I nodded off for a second, my bad. <laughs> I've been in a betting mood lately. What do you think is going to end first? The mobile game or your Let's Play? <laughs> My Let's Play. Yeah. I will become a sword in your place, Mom. That way we can be together forever. Wait. Like, th th this is just... This is nothing. This is supposed to be this big emotional climax, you know, big moment for Sakura. And I'm thinking, I'd be seeing this if I was, if I chose Sakura as my vice captain. But would it make more sense if I, you know, got Hatsuho's section? Like, you know, we find out, we actually meet her mom and dad. And, and she's like, you know, well, you know, we, we finally get permission and all that from like five years ago. I don't, I don't know. Like, it, it almost feels like I, I, I got wrapped into Sakura's ending somehow, doesn't it? Why does her mom look 12? 
because Tekken likes him young. I don't like that. Well, well young women make the best swords, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Want to no. make sure that the steel is good and fresh, not old and chipped. No impurities on this blade. <laughs> Turn her into a sword. <laughs> So if the Amamiya women become swords, do the Amamiya men become like lances or javelins or knives or bro cookware? brass brass knuckles? Brass knuckles, right? Well, you may think that the whole thing here was uh, to get Sakura to reconcile with her mom and come to terms with the fact that you know people have to do their duty, but we're not done yet. That sucker as a child getting attacked by a demon! Oh no, and now she is going to be her savior. She saved herself. It wasn't Sakura at all! Oh. She thought it was Sakura Shinguji, which, which made this a whole. No! It was actually herself who saved her! Wow, so she can't, even, she can't even remember saving herself. Oh my god! Oh, that's a time paradox. I've never been so insulted in my life by a video game. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? I am where I am today. It's my fault. So, I'm here. So not only do they kill all the characters you've come to love, we got this bratty, stupid Wait, fucking character. How does that open up? Oh, but yeah, we got time. Reality's breaking apart now, so did this really happen? Did it not happen? I don't know. Who cares? Doesn't <laughs> matter. Back to the fray. Okay. God, stupid. Oh, look at that. That's cute. Again, you think we'd be in Sakura's ending by now? Oh, I thought that was like a balled up fist about to punch us back through time. Oh no! Oh, so, uh, so. uh, now she's dead too. Oh, sweet. No, of course not! Sakura's the special one! She's the special Mary Sue of this fucking game, so of course she cuts through the darkness with her magic! I believe in my mom powers! I believe no, in the character Sakura that was Shinguji's never here. here. <laughs> Oh, huh. oh, the per the person who I had no connection to, only by namesake. In fact, we never even really met. But she's passing the torch to me, a complete stranger. But she's saving her after all by saying, "You can do it." <laughs> it's like the equivalent of her just showing up and going, "Hey, sup," and <laughs> just peacing out. It'd be like if I really looked up to Brad Pitt as a kid, because Brad Pitt ruffled my hair as a child, and wow, he's, he's my favorite, but it turns out it wasn't Brad Pitt who ruffled my hair. I find out 15 years later it was actually Paul Rudd, but Brad Pitt shows up anyway, it's like, you can do it. And I'm like, thanks, Brad Pitt, you ruffled my hair in the end anyway. <laughs> Alright, time for Sakura to come back, pierce through the darkness, as usual. And she's going to use some healing magic, and all our friends are going to so, come back to life. So she comes blasting through, and all these little magical oh, pedals bring it. everybody yeah. back to life! Oh my god, this is shit! <laughs> this is the stupidest thing! I've played a lot of bad anime games in my life, Nisko, but this is about the stupidest, most insulting game I have ever played. Oh, does it make you want to shout betrayal? It, it, it is an absolute <laughs> betrayal. <laughs> Holy shit, they're actually doing the thing. This is killing me. And the bad guy says, Oh, Sakura Shinguji, how could you? Oh my god, he can instant transport. We're doomed. Oh, which begs the question, where the fuck is everybody else? Oh, where is the other combat reviews? Are we actually going to fight him? No, well, yeah, yeah, well, mm, uh, well. <laughs> So, uh, I, I was hoping this chapter would just be one big long cutscene saying, hey, we won the end. Friendship and all that. Now we got one huge long fight sequence to take care of. Okay. Oh my god, he turned our battleground into an RTS. Yeah, it does look like a Disgaea map, doesn't it? Oh, he big. 
So, alright, what's happening is that Sonan Gentetsu is, uh... He's channeling the power of the Archdemon, and if we don't stop him, then the Archdemon's gonna come, and apparently, it, you know, we're fucked by then. It's like summoning Exodia. Once the Archdemon comes, we're just fucked. Now you're speaking my language. Wait, wait. That's the, that's the best analogy I could use. Uh, yeah, it's 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 a break. Why? Just uh, uh, nope. Still still got hot, so it seems. All right. Just fucking continue. Why did we need a break? What was that only like 15 minutes? Yeah. I need, I needed a break after this. I was throwing my controller, and <laughs> cursing, ripping my hair out, rolling down the stairs, breaking windows. God, with all the hair ripping you've done through this Let's Play, you might have short hair the next time I see you in person. I've got patches now. <laughs> I've resorted to pulling my arm hair. <laughs> the hairless Let's Player. So now, the game suddenly realizes, Oh yeah, you chose a vice captain, didn't you? God, and this is Sorry, where I thought you I thought you would want to care about Sakura and all, and all her problems and shit like that. So, all right. This is the uh, the big final chapter that that you got to do, you know. We got to we got to cut off those tendrils basically that is channeling the direct energy of the archdemon into him. Oh my god. And your your uh, partner for this thankfully is not Sakura. But it is your vice captain that you chose at the end of chapter 7. Oh my god, thank you. Are, are they gonna die too? Well, I don't know. So we gotta destroy these tubes, cut off cut off the energy from the Archdemon to Genon, whose name I keep getting wrong. That's okay. I don't know anybody's but name. But because the game has a hard time, uh having more than three AI players at once. You all get separated. Oh my god, dude. How many times did you beat this? <sighs> and by the way, this is still like president of the games, right? Yes. S some just random dude that just shows up and he's like, Hello, it's time for the um, uh, combat review games. I'm also evil, too. Like how the, the... Like this... You could have done a great sort of corruption plot line where it's like, I think that there's something stinky going on at the... At uh, WLOF. And they said Sumeri has been hot on her, hot on the tail ever since, you know, ever since uh, she, he sent her comrades to basically die. Uh, you know, we could have had some intrigue on there, but nope, it's just the games, the games. We got to worry about the games more than anything else. Instead of the people running them or why they're, or why they're like this or why he's doing this. The games, the friendships we've made along the way, the Sakura, the Sakura, Sakura... Yeah, we had to shoehorn in Sakura and her fucking mommy daddy issues, which she still technically didn't reconcile because mommy still became a no. sword. Yeah, but now she's kind of more at peace with it, I guess. And then but she. I'm but, but, I'm, but I'm pretty sure if I say mom and sword in the same sentence, she'll start crying. It's like, yeah, my mom bought me Pokemon Sword, and uh, she starts crying. <laughs> God, I, I miss my mom sword. <laughs> so Hata will be joining us for this, obviously. It, again, the game remembers. Oh yeah, right. You chose an ending. You care about this girl, not the girl that we're trying to force on you. Good, good. I mean, I mean, did your parents call? Do they still want you to come home? We kind of forgot about that. There's a barrier around Ganon, and there is a way to dispel it. Mm -hmm. It's the most video game thing you can think of. Uh, find the flashing point and hit it with sword. The Septentrion Array. What? It's how we uh, got rid of Shadow Tokyo ten years ago. Oh, if we okay. if we do this special ritual, 
we can cut off the Archdemon's power to him and destroy Genon and make sure that the Archdemon doesn't come back to life somehow. I'm thinking, where does the other combat review play then? Like, where is all the characters from the first five games? Did they, did they, did they escape? Are, are they coming to help us? They're just dead. Did, are, they, are they still in there? Are they dead? Are they, like, metaphors in our dreams now or something? What happened to them? Well, apparently... Where'd they go? Apparently, since... But the game just does... The <laughs> game will never tell us. They'll never tell us. Well, since Sakura Shinguji didn't help us in the past, why should any of the other characters that are better come and help us now? They're just figments of our imagination, apparently. Then that means they killed all of them off. Uh, yeah, they're all dead. They're all dead, and I can't accept that. Well, unfortunately, we got we got these fucking losers instead. <laughs> Passing the torch from <laughs> from Soccer Wars Five to New. Good lord. It's all right. We gotta find these seven lights, go to them, and by being at those seven lights, that'll do the ritual. <laughs> And then he'll be free to attack. That's it. That's it. So I'm wondering. So now I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. Well, why in the hell did it take everybody from all of the combat reviews to go into Shadow Tokyo when we could have really just used seven or eight of them to take him down? And what was what was the point? There's a lot of questions that are not being answered here. Well, from the sounds of it, the story's being made up on the spot. This is an improv story. There's so many things that they haven't explained too, but, like like their money problems, and the fact that their Mugens are are basically buckets of bolts with shit on them. They've glossed over so many things, and they're gonna gloss over more. Like Sakura is not gonna become a sword. I know how this works. They're just gonna ignore that plot point for another plot point, and it's like, oh hey, let's get seven people to stand in the right place, and then we can uh, attack the the big dude. Oh yeah, she, so bad she, news. she's here. So yeah, bad news. Sakura is going to be joining us for this first bit. Oh, why? Good, good news. Good news is she's going to be the first to take herself out too. I, I, what, how this how this uh, fighting section is going to go is that we're going to go do some platforming stuff and kill some enemies. Uh, our, our our vice captain is going to be with us the whole time, and occasionally we'll get a third member who's going to you know. So we're gonna. This is Sakura's section. Then after that, we're gonna do, you know, Clarisses, and then Anastasias, and Azamis, and then we're gonna, well, go from there. I honestly thought when you said she's gonna take herself out first, I thought she was just gonna, like, off herself in the middle of the fight. Oh, God. Oh, hmm. <laughs> I would uh, you, 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 you know, I would have loved that. If we were to make a parody game, just take all those anime tropes, throw them in a blender, make it funny, I can honestly see. A young woman whose destiny is to become a sword, her only attack is literally stabbing herself to create, like, magical monsters or something like that. That sounds funny. And, like, she's really wanting to hurt herself. Like, she's somewhat of a masochist. It's like, hmm, there, there's, like, one enemy coming by and it's level one. I guess it's time to stab myself. Do you think if you used a whetstone on her, it would hurt? <laughs> Like, would it be like getting yeah. a haircut, or would it be like shaving the top half of the top layer of your skin? Oh no, totally a haircut. Because that's where, you know, the sharpness of the blade comes from, is her hair. You know, you just gotta shellack it, and, you know, harden it up, and there we go. Sakura the sword. Just hold her by her ankles and swing her around, because her hair's the sharp part. And of course, there would be uh, CG romance options as well. Make out with your sword! So I'm like, where do you want me to go, game? I, I mean, it's, I saw a thing open up. Did I miss something back here? I guess I'll get some more of these purple things that, that are like the search things. That, that hurts. Dab, dab, what am I, what am I, do I want me to go back to the start? Or, like, back to where we began? Really? Like, not any of those other places right here? Okay, whatever. So now he's going to be uh, throwing meteors our way. Oh, just casual meteors? I wish I could it throw... There was no end of trouble ten years ago. I wish I could throw casual meteors. 
I throw formal meteors. Excuse me, madam. Can I throw a meteor at you? Excuse me, a large asteroid is coming towards you at an alarmingly high speed. <laughs> this just turns you into a god of destruction. <laughs> Excuse me, I feel like throwing course, a, an asteroid at your planet. You Hope you don't mind. Long, but what it also means is that you can easily dodge them. And you can get, like, bullet time when you do so. Oh, well, that's pretty nice. Get extra bullet time, help you out. Man, I kind of feel bad for the dev team if there were multiple hands in the cookie jars. Because I gotta tell you, I'm, this is really boring <laughs> as, like, a finale. Yeah, you're telling me. Like, I still don't know how Soccer Wars 5 ends. And guaranteed, it is a lot more eventful than this. Yes, it is. It's a lot more dramatic, it's a lot more pulse pounding, and it's way better. Stupid pandemic. <laughs> One of these days, man. Every day, it's getting safer. Yeah, I wonder if I wonder by the time we even go back to Soccer Wars Five, if I'm even gonna like it anymore. <laughs> no, you will, because if I've learned anything from my long-going series that I adore, one bad game does not ruin the bunch. Feels like it spoils it though. It's like no matter what I do, they're just gonna end up dying in Shadow Tokyo anyway. But you will at least still have the memories of Five. No, I think if if I just sit down, think really hard, just shut my eyes really tight, I can retcon this out of my mind. It, it's just gone. There it goes. The Sakura, of course, gets the first dib, and she gets the first pillar of light, and she'll just stay there. Holding up her sword like a lightning rod. Shock me, evil demon! You know what you do is just uh, pull back on the lever, lock it in place, then recline your seat back, and we can kick back for the day. World saved. Uh, Kamiyama, can you please kill the bad dude? I think he's about to attack me. Oh shit, we have six more points to go. Uh, oh, oh okay. six of them? Oh my god. Okay. All right, next up, it's Claris. Oh yeah, we glossed over the plot point that she's ashamed of her magic. Oh, I, I guess she's okay with it yep, now. Just okay with it. In, in fact, I don't even think we talked about her libromancy since chapter two. Well, it was the plot point for the day. Ever in Soccer Wars 5 when you can, like, go around town and talk to characters outside of the plot? Yeah. And they would, like, be doing things outside of the plot? It's like, oh. Hello, Shinjiro. I'm just here at the coffee shop enjoying a nice cup of coffee. Would you care to join me? Okay, sure. And then you have a moment, and then you have a choice, and then you get some points for that. You know, something like like maybe we like see her at the bookstore. It's like, oh, uh, oh, hi, uh, hi, Claire. What are you doing? It's like, oh, I got a little bit of a part-time job because money's so tight. If they were to go with that storyline, and uh, I decided to to help out at the bookstore here, and I've been using my libromancy, and they've actually been really accepting of it. It's like, oh, that's great. And then a customer comes up and is like, Yeah, you got you got the, 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 the latest edition of A Tale of Two Cities? And she's like, certainly. And then she uh, snaps her fingers and wiggles her fingers around a little bit. And a book comes out of the shelf. And it lands right in the customer's hands. Here you are. Wow, that's amazing. Thanks, book lady. See, that would actually be a good plot point to have show up after Chapter 2. Like, it's one of the hidden scenes. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Easy, don't pop a blood vessel. They, they just... It's so bland. There is no personality to this whole game. They could have done so much more and added just... They didn't do anything. Hey, remember Hakushu? Who? The fuck... The, uh, Sakura's fucking mentor? Where's she? Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's just not here. They... They don't even do the trope where, like, characters that we that we uh, have known for so long show up in their own mech suits to help out. Oh, I mean, we had the the lunar combat review or whatever that was. The 
Yeah, the, yeah, the moon, the moon division. division, the two side characters that barely had any personality either. And then they just show up and by the, by the way, we're cool. The fangirl and the dessert lady. Wow. They were secretly powerful. What? What do they do? I don't know, but they're powerful and they're here and they're on our side. Cool. And now they're not even here helping us. Ow, ow, yeah, ow, yeah, ow, you're getting ow, hurt. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, can, can we hurry up this dialogue, ah. please? Everything hurts. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> you know, you know, it kind of tangles when you sit in there for like a, for, for like a good little while. Huh? <laughs> Half of your mech's leg is melted. <laughs> you can't get back anymore. Like, it didn't even hurt that much. Well, thankfully, I believe they give you invincibility during dialogue frames, which is good. Yeah, but I mean, like, I'm, I'm sitting it right now, and it's only taking that much health. Oh, well, yeah. And when I kill one of these things, I get health back. So there's no point. It's not, it's not as big as a hazard as they, as they make it out to be. By the way, I know, we, we, I know we've been talking over a good majority of it, but uh, you ever notice that the voice acting in this kind of sucks? Oh, I haven't noticed. It kind of sucks. But, like, it, felt, it feels like that they made the actress, the actors and actresses do, like, 12 hours of warm-ups and their voice is shot by the time they get to the studio. Well, when you have to do three and a half hours of yelling, yeah, I'm sure it would hurt by the end of the day. It, yeah, the, the yelling feels like... Like, they don't have control of their voice. In fucking Sumere, she sounds like this the whole time. Oh, yes. Yeah, come on, everybody. We need to do the Septentrion Array. There's no personality in this dialogue, either. Now, is this you projecting, or are you j finding legitimate things to... I'm trying, I'm trying to fill time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there's five more? Like, do, do the, yeah, there's five Holy more. Holy shit, is it too late to give my final thoughts? <laughs> or too early? Oh, but wait! But wait! A light from the Septentrion has appeared! It's the Berlin Combat Review! Finally. Jesus. Uh, now we have to talk about how you're good. <laughs> yes, I lost. I'm going to join you. There. That's all you need. No, we got we got to make it into a whole no. scene. You know, victory is not what you thought it was before, but it is more. You know, blah 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 blah. See, this is the issue with having your game constructed like a season of an anime. <laughs> season of a bad anime. There's too much talking! I say there's no personality, I mean, it's just so much talking, but they keep saying the same things. Well, yeah, that's kind of what I'm getting at, like, when you're playing... It's circular dialogue. When you're playing a 80, 90 hour RPG, like, for example, some of the better RPGs I've ever played, you gotta have some interesting dialogue, because you're gonna be hearing those same people for hours. That's why I like the Tales games, especially, you know, Symphonia, Vesperia, and Berseria. They have interesting main characters, and, you know, interesting cast of characters, and they'll keep surprising you. They'll do things like, wow, oh, wow, oh, what are we gonna do now? Well, this, this changed so many things, the dynamics has changed so much, but no, no, no dynamic gets ever changed here. Remember in Soccer Wars 5 where Subaru like felt like she was way too good for everybody, so she's like, man, fuck y'all, I don't even need y'all. Like, you guys have proven to be fucking idiots, so I'm just gonna go do my own thing. Y'all can suck a dick, you call, cause y'all suck. And they gave her shit for it, and then we had to basically, we basically had to send the whole chapter kind of changing that dynamic so she realizes what's most important and how wonderful that chapter was. We don't get anything like that here. Well, it's mainly because the most of the personality comes out during the combat scenes, and all the combat scenes are samey. So you get the exact okay, same dialogue. I, 
Okay, I take it back. There was one instance where the dynamic of the characters changed and you and you didn't know if they were going to be part of the crew. That was Sakura! <laughs> it's always her! She has all of the personality. Nobody else does. She's supposed to be this wonderful character who we're supposed to trust with the rest of the of the Sakura Wars games going forward, but she's moody, she's bratty, she's manipulative, she's a coward... She's weak spirited! And she never she didn't grow from any of that. Not really. Not in not in any significant way. You know, I think her uh her personality would have improved had she actually become a sword. I think she would have. I mean, when you become a sword, you see some shit. She would have had a sharper wit. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mm. So, but like, take but take, take chapter five. Sakura said that she hated being a pawn. She she hated being a soldier. She didn't want to be, you know, cast out to her death like it was nothing. And the first second that she sees her mom, she's like, "Let's just forget everything and live together happy forever." So she never got over that. So, Sword Sakura, what did you see today? Well, I cut some grass. Uh, I uh, cut off the head of one of my enemies. It was pretty cool. Sakura ever became a sword, I would put her in her sheath, tie her up with a chain, and leave her in a basement forever. That almost sounds like a, a shitty anime. It's like, I became a sword, so I decided to cut some things. <laughs> I became a sword, but I've been locked in a basement for 20 years. I became the Bushido blade of a master samurai, but he hasn't been alive in 30 years. What do I do now? Question mark. That'd be funny if it was like you know a lady, in like in a sword. You you unsheath the sh the you unsheath the sword and the lady comes out. But uh, she she was made a sword in like the Meiji era, but then she was like abandoned forever until 2021. <laughs> <laughs> Have a little culture shock. I, I like this this setup here. Yeah, construction construction works like hey check it out. There's a sword here. Oh really? It's like does, does it look any good? Hang on, let me get the chains off. Uh, is it a wrestler or anything? Let me see. Shing! And a lady comes out. Whoa, what the? Uh, and she's like, Gre Greetings, gr greetings, master. I am, uh, 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 Katsune or whatever. And I am here to, uh, to help you defeat the enemies in your life and bring, bring death to your enemies. And he's like, oh, all right. Uh, well, I get off in about two hours. Uh, I mean. Yeah, you want to join up for a burger? I mean, uh. I mean, I know you're a museum exhibit, but, y you know, maybe we could talk it out. What is this burger you speak oh, of? Oh, good lord. Oh, it's, it's, uh, mm. Oh, mm. Maybe we should start with fries. How about that? Let's start with electricity, huh? Hmm. Yep, this is still going on. You know... Oh, by, by the way, the London Combat Review uh, got one of those Septentrion yeah, things. If you I, I saw that, and I, I care about as much as uh, when the other Combat Review did it. Like you, you can tell exactly where this is going. You, you know what's yes. going to happen. There's going to be no surprises. We're going, going to beat the bad man. There's going to be there's going to be one more that we got to worry about. One more point, and the fucking Shanghai Combat Review is going to take care of that one mm -hmm. too. Nothing's gonna change. Nothing's gonna be. Nothing's. Gonna, nothing's gonna take you by surprise. I, 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 I hate this. Did you watch the new Mortal Kombat? No. I did. It was pretty decent. I knew it was because it was rated R. The one thing I was interested in is how do we go from the beginning, which is set way back in the past. How do we start there and get to the modern age, and then calling the champions forward for Mortal Kombat? Well, you got you got to uh, remember that uh, Mortal Kombat doesn't give a single flying fuck about its continuity. Oh no, it's re it has retconned itself multiple times. So the movie is both canon and not canon. Yes, it's it's just whatever it is. And I, I will give them this. You know, everybody's talking about well, all these major characters are dying. 
and Shang Tsung says, uh, what is death but another open door? And then he, like, takes the, the corpses of all of his dead soldiers. And I'm like, hell yeah, they're coming back for the sequel, no doubt about it. Yeah, death is not permanent in Mortal Kombat. It's more of a nuisance. Yeah, I mean, you know, Johnny Cage, like, pounds his wife's head into the pavement until it comes off. And then the next hour, they're like, so how was work? That, that always, like, rubbed me the wrong way, because then you start getting children of these characters and then putting them up against one another. They have no qualms about, like, tearing arms off and ripping heads open. Because then they're just fine. You, just, you, you can't take Mortal Kombat 2 seriously. I mean, it certainly doesn't. No, no. Lord, no. And uh, there was one ah! thing... Uh, I was watching it with my sister and brother-in-law. You know, they, they know Mortal Kombat enough to where they knew who some of these characters were. Um, I started telling them about uh, Kung Lao and one of his infamous fatalities. You know, the one that had every guy ever who watched the trailer go, Ah! Uh, you mean where he takes his hat and then he grabs your legs yeah. and then he pulls you? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. And I was thinking, you know, it'd be pretty cool if Kung Lao got a really awesome fatality, and he fucking did, dude. It was awesome. And the best part is, I didn't see it coming, and then it within like 10 seconds it happened. I was like, oh! Oh, God! Oh, it was so cool, but oh! Well, I knew it'd be better than the than the 90s movies. I mean, duh. It's, it's rated R. It knows, Mortal Kombat knows what it wants to be now. It's, it's not being a Street Fighter ripoff, which is what uh, I think those movies thought they were going to be. Because, you know, oh, fighting, right? No, it's it's about the cartoony violence and uh, decent story. Now, that's interesting because there are a lot of people online who think the original is so much better than this new thing. And I'm like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> it is so much better. I mean, come, I'll come give the, the fuck on. I will give the old movies this. They followed the plot to the arcade games, but that's because there were only two games, maybe three, to go for. You've got like 12 of them now, so you can do whatever the hell you want. I'll Just give as them long the, as yeah. it's... I'll, I'll give them the first one's better than the second one. Yeah, the second one's pretty garbage. But uh, there's actually a, a lot of good like background references too in the new movie. Like, not being the biggest Mortal Kombat fan, but knowing enough to get by and have played a few of the games, I'm like, holy shit, that's, that's that! I know what that is! You know, they, they give uh, a nod to the creators, which is always good to do in your game based off a of property. Good for you. It's kind of wild it, that uh, Mortal Kombat went from, like, the most violent, sick, twisted game in, in existence to LGBTQ friendly. <laughs> And, uh... Thank you, Hatsuho. I, I love you. Oh, that's awesome. That's so great. Oh, uh, bonus points, Mortal Kombat, for using, um... Asian actors for Scorpion and Sub-Zero. Uh, and also, also having them do a lot of really good choreographed fight scenes. There's still one issue I have with it, and this is for most R-rated, like, violent films, the blood Over and gore effects look silly. Well, not supposed to be real, you fucking psychopath! No, 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 I mean, like, take, uh, John Wick, for example. So, uh, you have a little bit of blood splatter, and it actually looks natural. In all of these, like, heavily edited CGI films, it always looks fake. Well, the point of John Wick is to be, like, a, a well-choreographed gunfighting film. The point of Mortal Kombat is to be, you know, over-the-top violent. This, that this is two, it's two different things, two different tones that they're going for. I mean, if John and Wick you, had, like, the kind of kind of over-the-top gore that Mortal Kombat had, I don't think I'd like nah, it as much. Nah, I wouldn't have liked it. But if Mortal Kombat had, you know, just a little bit of, you know, gun violence and, you know, people get shot and it's, you know, realistic, then I don't think I'd like that as much. It's like, come on! Tear off his arm and shove it down his throat and then rip out his spine from his stomach! I will say, going into Mortal Kombat, I had the mindset of, I want to watch a goofy action movie, and I got exactly what I wanted. So, if you go in with that mindset, it's a perfect movie. 
All right, blah blah dreams, love, yada yada, future. So I watched Godzilla vs Kong the same night. I watched Mortal Kombat. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> That's another action movie where if you go I would, in with... I would, I would love to talk about movies all day with you, but now Damn we're getting it. to the final, final fight. Holy we have, shit! We have, we have successfully talked through the entirety of the Septentrion Array setting up. Good, because nothing was happening. But, so now, we're cutting off the Archdemon to get on Sotetsu. He's a little angry about it. Wait, did you say Ganon? And so... No, so Tetsu Ganon. So oh. Sakura, of course, gets her mom <laughs> sword. <laughs> and fucking Sakura is the one who gets to, to, gets to seal away the Archdemon. God. Okay, whatever. It's good to see you again, Mom. How, Why how's the, the fuck she? Does she have so much? Why is she doing everything? Because it's her wars, dude. Sakura so, yeah, wars. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this sword to seal away all of our friends in there still. Allegedly. Nah, it's all a fabrication. Yeah, I'm just Maybe. gonna assume this is an alternate timeline, and I'm just gonna live in the timeline where none of this shit happens. Where this game never comes out. And... Sega makes a new Jet Set Radio or Skies of Arcadia instead. You know, I think I've mentioned this possibility before, but what if all the other Soccer Wars games took place in Dark Tokyo? Like, they're I'd trying... That. I'd hate that, but a lot less than this. Like, just imagine if all the better games were happening in the Dark Realm. Yeah, and then they can do, like, a, a thing where, uh... They try to escape the Dark Realm, and they, they walk into a new modern world together, hand in hand, as yeah. friends, lovers, and comrades. So this is the final battle of, uh, Sona Gentetsu. They keep okay. forgetting his fucking stupid-ass name. It's, it's, it's Ganon. Gan -gi -gi. Ganon. Ganon. Googie, yeah. He's, Googly he's, eyes. He's, he's Googie now. <laughs> the Groogie! So oh my. So basically, there's a lot of enemies that pop up, and he has all these uh, screen wiping moves and all that. Enemies just keep coming. Mm -hmm. But we gotta wait for one specific move that he's using, and he's using it right now. It's where he slams his fist in the ground and makes this arc appear. And that's when you can attack him. That's when you can use your, uh, your team attacks and your special attacks. That's how you really hit him, because then he does that, then he puts his fist down, and that's really the only way to hurt him consistently. Interesting. So we'll use the team attack here to up our attack here. Oh, and he... Uh, okay. Oh, well. Oh, here we go. All right. Got lucky there. All right. All right and th 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 this is it. Come on, you really this think is it. You really think the final boss is going to be this easy? Yes! I, I can imagine the final boss being pathetic. He already took half his health bar! Yeah, this is not going well for him. Oh my god! Uh, why did they go away from the turn-based style? Because they want to be like Dynasty Warriors, man. Dynasty Warriors sucks! Not the ones I've played. Well, okay. This is just shitty Dynasty Warriors. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Can't tell you how much fun I have playing Age of Calamity, where I just do a combo, moving forward, and just like a fucking mini Katamari of bodies just follows me. <laughs> I can't tell you how satisfying that feels. This is just sticky. We're... All right, let me talk about the, the lock-on system for a minute. Uh -huh. This is the worst lock-on system in history. For some reason, it, it assumes that it, it always locks on to what I don't want it to lock on to. One time, I shit you not, there was a hell fiend, a gigantic fucking enemy right in front of me, and I use the lock on, and it locks on to a little dinky enemy behind him. It always locks on to the wrong ass thing. I think my favorite part about, you know, Soccer Wars news lately 
is that it finally reached, I, I think it's permanent, it finally reached a $30 price tag on PSN. Still too much. Oh, definitely. Way too much. I didn't even, I wouldn't even pay 20. I'd pay $10 for this. You and even though just... that's, that's only if all the DLCs in it with the two. Just wait for it to come to PlayStation Plus. <laughs> Who am I kidding? It's never coming to PlayStation Plus. So <laughs> Excuse me while I disappear up your sleeve, sir. So, the lower his health gets, the more he uses this fist attack, which mm -hmm. I'm not realizing he's doing right now. And he'll use it like five, six, seven, eight times by the time he's dead. So let's finish this now. I think I got enough. I think I can hit him enough so that way he'll fucking... So, if, be it. He, if he's a higher demon and he uses his fists a lot, does that make him Mephisto? He's called something, but I can't put my finger on it. Whoa, what was that? <laughs> I pressed start too many times because I was like, come on, come on, hurry up! <laughs> What's my combos? Done. No second, no second stage. Jesus. No final, final boss. He's just gone and dead. How pathetic. Oh, get out joke. of here with that. Get out of here, dude. What an absolute joke. Oh, my God. The final boss of Soccer Wars 5 is going to fucking... You're going to love it. All right, good. <laughs> We're just but gonna like with, pierce, with the pierce power and admiration head. of my comrades, <laughs> I pierce through his skull. And of course, Sakura of all people, <laughs> most important one. She's the one who gives me r the real drive. But hey, at least uh, I'm the one who kills him. Boom. Uh oh. I didn't even catch what happened. Did we did we kill the bad man? Yeah, we killed the bad man. The bad man's dead. The bad man's over and dead. Oh, uh, okay. Hooray, hooray. Just as long as we save the day. Wow. Uh, that was it. That was it. Fucking kill me. 15 minutes. That did not feel like 15 no! minutes. That was like 30. Get out of here because, with that. The reason being is because most of that was talky cutscenes. It doesn't count for the... Oh, <laughs> That's why it's so goddamn long. Ugh. But yeah, world saved. Good job, everybody. Everything's back to normal. It just drops it like that. Oh, the sky! It's no yeah, longer corrupted! The sun! Oh, hey! We still made the games! What perfect timing! Let's go ahead and compete, guys! We did it. We did it. We did it. Yay. Yeah, we'll never open up an investigation into WLOF as to how the Archdemon was basically the head of all the combat reviews. We'll, ne we'll never talk about the other combat reviews and, you know, did they get brought back? I don't think we even get paid for this job. Oh no, Th they were the sacrifices to close the demon realm again. We won't see them anytime soon. Again, I gotta ask, what happened to the other combat reviews? What what happened to the characters from Sakura Wars 1 through 5? Did they escape? Are they still up there? Why do they need to be? I mean, we, we sealed them back up, everything's all good. Do they need to be up there? Why do they need to be up there in the first place? That's a very good question. That will not be answered. Apparently it didn't even fucking work because demons still came out of the, of the seal, so we didn't even need them up there in the first place. I'm just gonna assume that they escaped because of the, the the flowery thing that Sakura did when she came out of the void. That's that's what I'm saying. All those all those all those flower petals came, and everyone else is like, "Huh? I'm back. I'm here. But how? Hooray!" But we won't see that because it'll cost too much money, and it'll make people like this more. Well, some of those flower petals were actually characters from other Sakura Wars games, so our combat review absorbed your favorite characters. Oh no! That's how they passed the torch. <laughs> Yeah, pass me the torch and I'll burn this effigy of Sakura. <laughs> oh, now Yui's like, oh, you guys do great work, you guys are great! Huh, oh, I didn't expect you, of all people, to actually save the world. Ha ha ha, I'm an endearing character. 
Let's just put our fists in the air and go, we did it! Good job, guys. I've learned nothing, and even though I, ex I got through a humiliating defeat, all of us, uh, we've learned nothing, and we're still arrogant and haughty. I love how Kamiyama does have that bit of self-reflection. He's like, when I came here, I thought it was a demotion because, I mean, look at you, you're all a bunch of failures. But now I realize that we are a family. I feel no semblance of family here. That's what makes a great RPG, is, is the relationship between all the characters, how, how everybody interacts with one another, how far they come, the, the, the lengths they, they, that they've gone, the growth that they've had, how, how, much, how deep their bond is between all of them. I don't feel anything between these characters. God, I want to play Persona 5. <laughs> you don't want to give them anything? Yeah, there we go. Give them the full victory. To victory. Victory. Hooray. Hooray. As long as we stick together, I, I, I think they stick, I think they stick together like oil. Oh wait, no, this is the end of the play. This is when we give our, our fulfilling message at the end, and then, uh, you know, the audience starts clapping, gives a standing ovation. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Good job, team. Same time next week. Hell yeah, bro. So we gotta gloss over the fact that everybody died. What was it like on the other side, guys? Is heaven real? <laughs> Cause I'll tell you one thing, hell sure is! Oh my god! We still have one episode to go! We've got one more to go, it's the grand finale. <laughs> We're gonna All wrap right. up everything up and put a, put a stamp on this and <laughs> send it in the mail. Uh, send it to the title office. <sighs> Send it to the prisons so we can run the dungeon forever. Well, see you next time for the big finale.